Status check. Go Delta. Go NROL 44. Fifteen seconds. Roll for ignition. T minus ten. ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Main engine ignition. Three. Two. One. Zero. And liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying the NRL 44 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. On all three RCKA engines look good in the full press mode. Now 15 seconds into flight, people have begun to pitch over maneuver. Body range response is good. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle assets data. 25 seconds into flight, engine operating parameters continue to look good. Body rate response look good. Now 30 seconds in. Standing by for four booster throttle down momentarily. And core booster has begun throttling down as expected. The partial thrust level engine response looks good. Core booster is achieved partial thrust level as expected. Now 50 seconds into flight. Engine operating parameters continue to look good on all three engines. is now 4.3 miles in altitude, 5.8 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,200 miles per hour. And at 1 minute 20 seconds into flight, vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle is also passing Mach 1, Delta 4 is now supersonic. Engine operating parameters continue to look good on all three boosters, port and starboard booster in the full thrust mode, core booster in the partial thrust mode. Body rates continue to look stable throughout the boost phase of flight. Telemetry quality has looked good throughout the boost phase. Now passing one minute, 46 seconds into flight. And the second stage reaction control system is pressurizing to flight levels. System response looks good. Engine operating parameters on all three engines continue to look good. Body rates continue to look stable. Vehicle has now gone to closed loop guidance. Seeing some correction in uh, the attitude as expected when vehicle switches over to closed loop guidance. Now two minutes, 37 seconds into flight, approximately three minutes remaining in boost phase of flight. And the Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at liftoff, burning propellant at a rate of almost 5,000 pounds per second. Body rates in roll pitch and yaw have nulled out nicely now after the closed loop guidance switchover and vehicle is now passing Mach 5. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. Port and starboard boosters in the full thrust mode, core booster in the partial thrust mode. Vehicle body rates have damped out nicely now as the vehicle is continuing in the latter part of the boost phase. Approximately 30 seconds now remaining until port and starboard booster engines cut off. And approximately two minutes now remaining in the boost phase of flight. And standing by for strap-on engines to throttle down. And strap-on engines have begun throttling down in preparation for engine cutoff. And port and starboard booster engines have cut off. And we've seen good indication of separation of the port and starboard boosters. Core booster is throttled back up to full thrust as expected. Uh, engine response looks good. Now four minutes, 20 seconds into flight.
And the upper stage liquid oxygen system has begun boost phase chill down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the RL10 engine. And approximately one minute now remaining until BECO. And upper stage fuel system has now begun boost phase chill down. Core engine continuing to look good in the full thrust mode. Engine operating parameters look nominal. Now passing five minutes into flight. And the Delta IV is now 71 miles in altitude, 360 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,900 miles per hour. And approximately 10 seconds until core booster throttle down. And core booster has begun throttling down in preparation for BECO. Standing by for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff. Standing by for stage separation. And we have good indication of separation of the first and second stages. Nozzle extension on the RL-10 is deploying. We have pre-start. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure on the RL-10 looks good. Body rate responses look good on the DCSS. Now passing six minutes, 15 seconds into flight, engine operating parameters continue to look good on the RL-10. Uh, upper